hello students my name is bilal bs today we are going to study section 150 one of the companies act 2013 appointment of director elected by small shareholders that is a section 151 says about the appointment of director elected by the small shareholder before that you know section 150 that is concerned with the manner of selection of independent directors and maintenance of data bank of independent directors this will be given by the cg nothing special in this so one section 150 manner of selection of independent directors and maintenance of data bank of independent directors cg will provide the data bank for independent director this is with regard section 150 this is the the main point is section 151 appointment of directors elected by the small shareholders so i will give the heading here appointment of directors elected by small shareholders who are the small shareholder for this section a shareholder holding shares of nominal value of not more than 20000 or less not hold, holding shares value of nominal value of not more than 20000 or less not holding or we can say here holding holding not more than 20000 or less so you know the who are the small shareholders for whom it is applicable which company it is applicable for listed company only so for a listed company they have to appoint one director by such small shareholders in manner and which terms and condition as may be prescribed one director can be appointed so is it a compulsion they have to appoint no me me appoint not like a independent director in case of independent director they have to appoint must compulsion but in this case me so what is the procedure they have to give 14 days notice 14 days notice should be received from at least 1000 small shareholders you know the small shareholders holding not more than 20000 or less that means if it is a holding 20000 is not a small share holder one thousand share holder or one tenth 
ऑफ स्मॉल शेयर होल्डर टोटल स्मॉल शेयर होल्डर्स विच एवर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच एवर इज लोअर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लोअर लोअर that uh, the proposed director should give his consent din declaration of not being disqualified name address shares held in company so this is a normal procedure he has to give din declaration of not being disqualified name and address shares held in the company and his consent also the important point is sh small shareholder uh, director appointed by the small shareholder that director cannot be the more cannot have more than directorship in two companies not more than two companies so he cannot be small shareholder director in more than two companies can you become in uh, three company no two yes but in the case of two also he cannot be in a competing companies because x company y company these two are competing in nature so you cannot be appointed in x company and y company also the, so two conditions are there number 1 he cannot be small shareholder director in more than two companies also two companies should not be competing companies what are the tenure tenure is simple 3 years non rotational will applicable tenure is 3 years can you appoint can you eligible for reappointment no cannot be eligible for reappointment so once again second company in which he has been appointed shall not be company competing to the first company that is the one point and one more point is small shareholder director shall have the qualities of independent director else he will be vacating the office okay he should have the qualities of whatever the qualities are there should have the independent director and also he may also be regarded as independent director in case the company things fit in case company things fit he can be regarded as independent director as per the that company so these are the provisions related to section 151 appointment of directors elected by small shareholders so we will see the what is given in the as per icai they given the appointment of directors elected by the small shareholder section 151 according to section 151 a listed company may have one director select elected by small shareholders small shareholders holding shares of nominal value of not more than 20000 or such other sum as prescribed rules also provided for the appointment procedure a listed company may upon notice not less than 1000 small shareholder or 1/10th of total number of shareholders whichever is lower have a small shareholder directors elected by the small shareholder 
However, a listed company may opt to have director representing small shareholders. So, motto in such cases, this will not applicable. That is at least 14 days uh, notice before meeting, signature specifying the name, address, shares held, consent of the uh, directors. Dean not disqualified by become the director under the act is consent these and all mentioned under section 151 the appointment of share small shareholder director shall be subject to the provision of section 152 except that such director shall be shall not be liable to retire by rotation shall not exceed period of three consecutive years on the expiry of the tenure such director shall not be eligible for reappointment these are the provisions mentioned under section 151 we will understand this by question one company pharma limited is a pharma limited is a listed company with the one stock exchange uh, some small shareholders of the said company want to appoint mr a some small shareholders want to appoint mr a as, as a small shareholder director Mr. A is holding 1000 equity shares of 10 each in the said company. He is holding 1000 shares at rupees 10. Mr. A is holding 1000 shares at rupees 10 in the Pharma Limited, which is a listed company. So, as per the question asked by the ICI in the examination, is as per the provision of the Companies Act 2013 in relation to the proposal to appointment Mr. E A as a small shareholder director. So what is the provision? So whatever we discussed that only the provision. Appointment of section 151, appointment of director elected by the small shareholder, not hold, holding not more than 20,000 or less, listed company one director should may ap appoint, notice of 14 days, notice upon 1,000 shareholders or one tenth of uh, small shareholders, whichever is lower, three years um, non rotational, not eligible for reappointment. These are the provision but the thing is you have to write in a some format you have to write in a format in order to get full four marks first you have to write a section 151 and what it says you know provides say that listed company may have one director elected by such small shareholder in such manner and with such terms as may be prescribed explanation as per a section 151 clarifies that for the purpose of section 151 small shareholder means shareholding shares of nominal value of not more than rupees 20,000 or such other amount as may be prescribed so this is will be applicable for listed company hence section 151 will apply as this pharma limited is a listed company then you have to write whatever if the rule is there you have to write rule also rules that is the same thing what is that notice of 1000 small shareholder or one tenth of total small shareholder whichever is lower so may upon notice of not less than thousand small shareholders or one tenth of the total number of shareholders whichever is lower have a small shareholder director elected by the 
small shareholder so point number 3 you have to write the case apply the case to the provision so this is a listed company uh, total number of small shareholders is not given so we have to presuming that the small shareholder meet the criteria they must give 14 days notice to the company under their signature specifying the name address share shareholder whose name is being proposed for the post of director that and all you have to write so this provision applicability of this provision to the current case you have to write in the third fourth you have to write the conclusion before that you have to write uh, you should give the consent is not disqualified uh, you should have din that three point also should write in here also then you have to write conclusion from the above it is clear that mr a who holds 1000 shares in the company is not debarred from the being appointment of the shareholders small shareholders director in the company these four paragraph must be followed while answering the question okay another question asked by the ica in the examination that uh, is it possible to appoint a person who does not hold any share in the company as a small shareholder as a director for example mr bilal who does not hold any shares in the pharma limited it is a listed company can he appointed as a independent director yes of course he can Im appointed as independent director however if the person being proposed does not hold any shares in the company the details of shares held folio number need not be specified in the notice shares held need not be specified folio number number also need not be specified in the notice so this is asked in the examination one more question also asked is what is the uh, tenure of small shareholder director small shareholder directors tenure yes of course you know 3 years uh, the fir question further asks that whether he can be reappointed as a such after expiry of his tenure can he be reappointed no he cannot be reappointed whether uh, he can be appointed as an officer of the company or an expiry of his tenure as small shareholder of director after his expire for example this is 3 years over after that can he appoint that as a officer in that company for that what is the answer that such director shall not shall not for a period of 3 years from the date of on which he ceases to hold office as a small shareholders director in a company be appointed in or be associated with the such company in any other capacity either directly or directly for 3 years he cannot be become appointed so for 3 years directly or indirectly he cannot become officer in any capacity in any other capacity either directly or indirect so he cannot be appointed as an officer also this is asked in the examination so another question asked in the examination by the icai mr bilal is already small shareholder director in two companies mr bilali is a small shareholder director in a two companies can he appointed for a pharma limited answer is no at the same time he cannot be 
same time you cannot be small shareholder director cannot be small shareholder director in more than two companies so mr bilal bilal cannot be appointed in pharma limited which is a listed company we'll move on to next question one question asked in the examination this as well abc limited is there total number of uh, small shareholder are 5000 small shareholders 5000 they received a notice from 400 of such this is a total small shareholders received notice from the such 400 small shareholder directors uh, sorry holders can company refuse to validate this notice can company refuse to validate what is the rule it says a listed company may upon notice of not less than 1000 shares or 1/10th of total number of such small share holders so 1000 or 1/10th means 5000 into 1/10th is 500 whichever is lower but here 400 minimum 500 is required 400 so company can refuse company can refuse so abc limited can validly refuse to appoint such director one more interesting question asked by the ici in the examination that the board of directors of uh, abilash limited that is unlisted company abilash limited unlimited unlisted very important point unlisted company having a paid up capital of 6 crore consisting of equity capital of 5 crore preference capital of 1 crore and they have 1100 small shareholders also holding equity shares seek your advice on the following is it necessary for the company to appoint a director to represent small shareholders is it necessary the question is is it necessary for the company to appoint a director to represent the small shareholders as we studied section 151 provides that a listed company may have one director elected by such small shareholder in such manner and with such terms so it is applicable to listed company not unlisted company so as the company given the question is a unlisted company so it is not bound by <coughs> section 151 and hence it is not necessary for the company to appoint a director to represent small shareholders it is not necessary one more question asked by the ICI with in the section 151 uh, that can a small shareholder director shall be considered as an independent director yes small shareholders director shall be considered as an independent director only if he fulfills all the condition or a prerequisite to become an independent director as specified under section 149 subsection 6 so he can become in consider as a independent director and also declaration of his independence should also given accordance with the section 149 subsection 7 of the companies act 2013 in the same question they asked that what are the exception to the exception available to the small shareholder 
that you know retire by rotation not apply cable not applicable that is exception then uh, shall not exceed period of 3 consecutive year tenure shall not exceed three consecutive years and the last one is not eligible for reappointment reappointment these are the exception available to the small shareholders so this is the section 151 with regard to appointment of small shareholder director thank you